I'm Makiko Tsuda. I'm come to the Takao Sanguchi Station on the western side of Tokyo. It's about an hour by train on the Keio line from the city center. This is the entrance to Mount Takao, a place that draws casual mountain climbers as well as Tokyoites longing to get away from the hustle and bustle. Mount Takao, along with Mount Fuji, was awarded three stars by the Michelin Guide in 2007. It's also known for being the most climbed mountain in the world and receives three million visitors annually. Today we'll be bringing you the program from Mount Takao. There's a tourist information center right next to Takao Sanguchi Station called Musasabi House and I'm going to find out more about this mountain before I actually head up. Would you first tell us about the attractions of Mount Takao? Mount Takao has a big temple called Yakuo-in, and from long ago, pilgrims would climb this mountain. It's introduced in the Michelin Guide now, but Mount Takao is abounding in nature, and many people come to see the seasonal flowers that grow here. How do you go up the mountain? Mount Takao has seven routes in total, trails one to six, as well as the Inariyama Trail. Novices and tourists can easily go up using the cable car. And if you want more of an adventure, you can climb up from the bottom. Today we're bringing you the program from Mount Takao, which is said to boast the largest number of climbers in the world. Right now, I'm at an elevation of 201 meters, and I'm going to take this lift behind me to a place 462 meters above sea level. The cable car operated by Takao Tozan Railway takes visitors midway up Mount Takao in about six minutes. The entrance to the lift that Makiko will be getting on requires going up a set of stairs from the cable car entrance. This takes about 12 minutes to midway up Mount Takao. It arrives at Sanjo Station, about 10 meters below the cable car station. I'm here. The view from here is plenty beautiful, but I'm actually going to climb the mountain from here. This time, Makiko is going up Trail 1, a relatively easy route for novices. It's a path for pilgrims to Yakuo-in Shrine and mostly paved. The area around the cable car station has many shops where you can buy replenishments and souvenirs. I see a place selling something called Tenguyaki over there. From long ago, there has been a belief in Tengu, a legendary creature protecting Yakuo-in Temple on Mount Takao. So, how does this confectionery born from that legend taste? So, I'm going to have a bite. Mmm. Mm. It has black beans inside and sweet. After having a small snack, Makiko continues on her way up the mountain and comes across a famous takosugi, or octopus cedar tree. It's a massive tree estimated to be 450 years old and 37 meters tall. Ahead, the path splits into two, a steep staircase and a gentle slope. The left-hand side is called Otokozaka, or Man Hill, with 108 steps, the number of worldly desires in Buddhist tradition. And to the right is Onazaka, a long, gentle slope. Both reach the same destination. And appearing beyond, I think we're almost at Yakuo-in Temple. 
there are these very big cedar trees all around and they say these trees are about 700 years old. So they're so impressive to look at. I finally made it to the entrance of Yakuoin Temple. Yakuoin Temple was established in 744. Since long ago, people have spoken about the legend of Tengu. And just inside the entrance are two Tengu statues on the right. Passing through the temple, the climb continues. Having a temple like this on the way makes the climb a little more interesting. Once you pass this temple, it's about a 20-minute walk to the peak. After passing Yakuoin Temple and walking another 20 minutes, you arrive at the peak. The summit of Mount Takao is 599 meters above sea level. The observation platform offers a panoramic view, and on a clear day, Mount Fuji is also visible in the distance. <laughs> 